Welcome to Figma Bytes, a video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Today we're preparing for a masquerade by learning how to mask, a common operation in design tools that lets us refine visuals by only showing the parts that we want. One way we might utilize masking is to design a thumbnail container for images that come in all shapes and sizes. Our thumbnail will be masked by this square shape. Let's move our shape on top of our image. One important thing to know is that Figma creates masks from the object that is lowest in your selection stack. Let's move our shape to the bottom by right-clicking to open our menu and selecting Send to Back. We can also move it around by dragging our layer in the Layers panel on the left, or by pressing the shortcut Left Bracket to move it all the way to the bottom. Now we can go up to the top center of our toolbar and click Use as Mask, or press the shortcut Control command m We have now masked that image. The mask can be changed independently from the image, so we can do things like resize the rectangle, add border radius, or rotate it. Figma will use whatever we have defined on the shape as our mask. We can also double click into the image or select it in the layers panel to adjust its position, scale, etc. to make a composition we are happy with. To make it easier to move these around together, we can either turn them into a group or a frame so they move as a unit. Masking doesn't only work on simple shapes, but for more complex shapes too. We can move our Figma Bytes logo under this grass image and hit the mask button. Figma successfully uses this complex shape to mask our image. Complex shapes can also be edited so that we have full control over the result. Masking also works on text. If we drag this text over the circles and move it to the bottom, we can turn it into a mask. Because the text was the bottom layer, all our circles are now successfully masked inside our text. Just like before, we can go in and edit our shapes and styles to create our intended effect. Let's add some blur to these circles to create an interesting gradient. And that's how you work with masks in Figma. I hope this Figma bite makes masking more manageable for the masses. Thanks for watching.